Hi, welcome back to Funders and Founders. This is Anna Vital. I'm here with Justin Wilcox, one of the winners of Life 3.0. Your app was kind of a sensation at the show. <laughs> and uh, I know that uh, when you got on the stage to present it to investors... Who's got the balls? Who's got the balls to grab a vibrator? <laughs> called Closer Together, but we spell it um, to get her, kind of scrunched together, uh, just as a little play on words. All right, so how do you get her? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so to get her, um, what, what, what you do is you go out and you get one of these kind of amazing vibrators. They're, they're made by a company called Oh My Bot. Mm -hmm. So we don't make these vibrators, but we, um, we work with them. Uh, and these vibrators actually respond to sound, so they'll respond to music. Mm -hmm. And typically, you'll plug them into your iPhone or your Android, um, and they'll dance to, to the music that you play, right? Uh -huh. And so you can have a little little party um, that way. But what we've done is built an app that generates sound um, based on someone's input into a phone. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so I can show you actually. So Excellent. if you you hold this this oh my bond here, um, I can take our little app here closer together. And then as I, as I stroke this ball here, what you'll eventually see is that the, um, the vibrator will respond and you'll be able to feel it um, moving mm -hmm. based on the intensity of the app. Yeah, I um, feel it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what's, what's great about the app is that I can do this kind of in solo mode, you know, if I'm doing my own thing, or someone can be running their own copy of this app on another device, another Android or iPhone device, somewhere else throughout the world. Doesn't matter. They, they can be, you know, uh, or space. Thousand, or space. They could yeah. be in the space station, right? And they'd be doing this. And they can actually control a vibrator remotely. Uh -huh. um, so, what we really built this for was for long distance relationships. Uh -huh. right? So, for military couples, right, who are away on long deployments, for um, business travelers, for students. Uh, anyone who's in a long distance relationship, now you can have some physical connection to one another. How did you come up with this idea? <laughs> well, it turns out I was in a long distance relationship at the time. Uh -huh. and, um, and, and my partner and I, we were, uh, we were in the same space and, uh, and we were talking about, hey, wouldn't it be fun if like, we had them? If somehow the iPhone, where it's so connected and it's ubiquitous, we have it all around yeah. us all the time, if we could you know, turn that into some sort of toy, right? and we were joking about it. Um, and then eventually um, she mentioned that she had an Oh My Bot. Um, and and she, she used it, she plugged it into her, uh, her iPhone and it, and it danced. And I thought, well, that's interesting. If it responds to music, I can write an app that plays music, and then I can write another app which controls the first app, right. Right? right? And so they just, basically what we do is just send, send the sound. And uh, at, at the time, when we came up with the idea, I was actually in the middle of a, an, another startup that I was working on. We, mm -hmm. had a, we just landed a big contract with the Navy, uh -huh. and so it was a big deal. I was really excited, I need to go work on that, but I couldn't get this app out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> and so, despite winning the contract that day, I set aside two hours and I said, okay, what can I do in two hours to kind of just like put this thing away? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I ended up hacking on some code, I called some friends, it's like, I got two hours, how do I get two clients to connect to each other and send data back and forth uh, in, within this two hour time frame? And then we ended up getting, getting a, uh, getting something working in, in my, my girlfriend. She in came two out. hours. In two hours. Oh she, we were about to leave. She was like, she was coming over. She was like, hey, we need to go now. And so I handed the vibrator and I said, one second. And then I go, handle the vibrator, I go onto my computer, I, and I start moving the mouse around, and then it starts moving in her hand. And it, nice. was, it was great. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, how many couples actually um, want to have? The, this type of distance sex. Sure, sure. Um, so we know that there are around 15 million uh, long distance relationships right now, um, kind of you know, in the United States that are, that are and happening. And it's growing. And it's growing, right? You know, with the use of the internet, the ability to interact with each other online, either through online dating or Facebook, um, or just the ability to fly. It's it's relatively cheap to, to get around the world right now, and Skype makes it so easy to connect. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing this trend grow. Um, and then, obviously, like I said, military deployments. Um, you know, it, it's really there's there's a lot of couples who are um, are in this situation. And then the idea of using toys is also that's becoming more acceptable within our culture. Mm -hmm. And so, as we see these two patterns converge, we think that there's going to be a lot of people interested in this sort of um, you know augmentation to their relationship. Mm -hmm. So one of the investors that uh, uh, watched your pitch. 
uh, they said that it sounds like you're looking for government contracts here. <laughs> <laughs> you probably remember that. Seventy yeah. percent of college students had in, um, engaged in some form of cyber sex, mm. right? So whether that's you know IMing um, or texting or Skype, like we're seeing a lot of that's becoming mainstream. It's becoming okay to have sexual encounters online. So a lot of our viewers today, um, they might be thinking of launching a similar app or another app in this industry on the App Store. And uh, I know that uh, there's certain kind of guidelines that Apple mm -hmm. has um, and maybe the Android marketplace as well. Mm -hmm. So how, how far did you have to push sort of those guidelines <laughs> to get this in? We got rejected six times before wow. we, got, we finally got in. Uh, and we had to go back and forth and they were kind of their, their notorious vague selves like, no, no, you're not coming in. You don't meet the content requirements. Now, um, that was despite us saying, look, there are a dozen other applications that already have the word vibrator in them or mm -hmm. do the, what we're doing um, in some form or another. They don't care about that. If you don't meet the content requirements today, right now, then you don't get in. Um, so, you know, we really had to keep going back and forth. We had to change our wording. We had to cut some features that we really, really wanted. Um, but uh, eventually, at the end of the day, we were able to kind of get through the, the noise. Now, Android's different. Android, they kind of like, they give you the benefit of the doubt. They'll let you come on. Mm -hmm. um, but they'll come back and review it later, which mm -hmm. I didn't know about. And we had had a, I think we put a medium content rating on this. And they came back and put us at like extra high, mature <laughs> content level, which is totally fine. But they, they also said, if you ever try and, and, and put it back down again, we could kick you off. So I'm guessing your life as an entrepreneur, as the CEO of this company, is probably not that easy. I mean, you, people probably tell you you're crazy every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's amazing about this product is is people get it, right? Like, like we're far enough along in, in kind of like in sex positive culture where people understand. Um, I, I actually I told my mom about this application because um, you know. Yeah, we were kind of open, and yeah. I said this is what we're doing, and and her reaction wasn't one of like horror and distrust. She was like, "This is going to save a lot of relationships, right?" And yeah. she was really big on the military aspect, right? Where if we could make a vibrator that's like that's like the bulldog theme for mm -hmm. the Marines, right? Yeah. You know, or the colors of the the Navy, right? Um, and so I think. You know, think people they, they get it, and maybe they maybe they they won't use it or they're not interested in it. But almost everyone can think about someone in their lives who's in a long distance relationship or might be you know amenable to using something like this. What I was really excited about about in this project was that I was able to go from idea to launch to generating revenue in three months. The, the startup ecosystem has become so efficient these days. It costs so little money. If you've got some skills in terms of marketing some skills on you know, putting together a video, uh, and then know how to get in touch with some media contacts. You can do the marketing aspect. If you're technical, you can do the development, uh, and then you can launch, and you mm -hmm. can go. So it really takes very little. I mean, long, long gone are the days of raising money just to launch a startup. Um, this was, I, I launched this with under $1,000, um, and, and I've since made that back. Uh, and like I said, in three months and doing part-time, I still had that Navy contract. To work. Wow.